everyone. Hi, everyone. I'd like to discuss um, our project with the United Nations Development Program, which I've been working on behalf of the College of Management. Um, the project was the development of the Management Toolkit for um, Diversity, uh, Equity, and Inclusion, or DEI. In particular, we'd like to work um, uh, with the um, corporate that focus upon the promotion of um, LGBTIQ or lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and intersex staff. Um, realize that um, it has been some progress in many parts of the world in the life of millions of LGBTIQ who have benefited from a raft of legal reforms uh, and in some cases shift in social attitudes. Uh, but such progress has been partial and uneven with major advances in some countries and for some communities offset by the lack of progress or even reversals in other countries. And we realized that 73 countries in the world still criminalize consensual same-sex relationships. Very few countries, excluding Thailand, legally recognize this identity of trans people uh, and gay men and women, and only a handful protect the rights of intersex people. So when it comes to the world of work, um, we realized that business sectors uh, we have a rep responsibility to respect the international human rights standard, to make sure they respect everyone's uh, rights. And of course, we are talking about uh, that include the LGBTIQ people. This applies regardless of the company size, structure, sectors, um, uh, number of um, leadership style. Company also have important opportunities to foster diversity and promote a culture of respect and equality in the workplace and in the communities where they operate. So many firms have found that are actively tackling such problems such as discrimination and promoting diversity and inclusion also bring economics and social benefits, helping tap new talent, improving decision and uh, building loyalty with customer and um, stakeholders. So in this project, what we've done so far, we look at um, the standard from um, the unit of uh, practical guidance to com companies on how to respect and support the rights of LGBTIQ people in the workplace, marketplace, and of course, in the community. They have been developed by the UN Human Rights Office in partnership with the Institute for Human Rights and Business and built on the outcome of a series of regional consultations uh, held since um, 2016 worldwide, uh, which is called the standard of uh, the standard of conduct. OK, uh, we set out uh, details in, in terms of principle on business and human rights. So in this work that um, we promote in Thailand, we focus on the five standards. First is um, the aspect of respect human rights. All businesses have a responsibility to respect human rights, including the rights of LGBTIQ people in their operations and business relationship. Businesses are expected to develop the policies, whether internal or internal, and exercise due diligence. And in cases where their decisions or activities have adversity, adversely affected the enjoyment of human rights, remediate such impacts. Businesses should also establish mechanisms to monitor and communicate about their um, compliance with human rights standards, where higher level of human rights violation against LGBTIQ people have been documented, including countries with discriminatory laws and practices, uh, including uh, countries um, uh, where same-sex marriage is not um, operated uh, legally. So companies will need to undertake more extensive due diligence to ensure that they respect the rights of LGBTIQ people in the business. The other two aspects which are part of the standards, we're talking about the elimination of discrimination, which means employees and other people with whom the business engage are entitled to freedom from discrimination. Businesses should ensure that there is no discrimination in their recruitment, employment, working conditions, benefit, respect for privacy or treatment of harassment. The third one is to provide support. LGBTIQ individuals are employees, managers, business owners, customer, community members. You know, if you think of the formidable obstacles to workplace acceptance and inclusions, that should be considered very carefully. Hence, businesses um, are expected to provide a positive, affirmative kind of 
environment within the organization so that their LGBTIQ employees can work with dignity and without stigmatization from the workplace. Um, this standard requires businesses to go beyond equal benefits and take steps to ensure inclusion, including addressing the specific workplace needs for LGBTIQ people. In my in my research, I look at issues such as generic one on um, daily activities from bathroom, toilet to um, workspace, and going into uh, support in terms of um, benefit at work and related to their life. Okay, so these are very important. Um, and uh, in terms of um, the work of LGBTIQ in the marketplace, companies should prevent other human rights violation. Businesses should ensure that they don't discriminate against LGBTIQ suppliers, customer, distributor, or even um, you know other stakeholder where companies uh, work with them, whether closely or not. In the business relationship, we should also ensure that business partners do not discriminate. Where a business partner discriminates against LGBTIQ people, businesses should use their privilege to seek to prevent the act of discrimination, use the power to stop this discrimination and prevent different forms of human rights violation. You know, for example, if you work with um, uh, partners or uh, let's say suppliers who say, okay, we don't we don't really have policy to support um, trans or trans are not welcome to our workplace, then we can exercise our business power against them. And the last one, which is act in the public sphere on the community basis. Businesses are encouraged to use their privilege to contribute to stopping human rights abuse in the countries in which they operate. In doing so, they should consult closely with local communities and organizations to identify what constructive approaches business can take in the context where legal framework or uh, existing practices violate the human rights of LGBTIQ people. Well, um, again, companies need to undertake the uh, kind of extensive due diligence to ensure that um, they respect the right of LGBTIQ people where higher level of human rights violations have been documented, including in countries with discriminatory laws and practices. Well, I guess Thailand still um, under this kind of um, tran transition uh, from one to another. And uh, with this kind of research with the UNDP, we hope that our uh, suggestions and business idea would help uh, most companies in Thailand, the Thai business, to take this issue seriously and care, be careful on the um, not to violate human rights of the LGBTIQ people who work with them or become their customer, partner, suppliers. This really helps us to achieve the sustainable development goals as planned by 2030.